How a simplest Google search can end up with me having access to someone's security camera. How does that even work? Well, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to show you an actual very, very fun way of how hackers gain information about other websites they, they can use in future for potential exploitments. Now, again, please be responsible and ethical. And for all of the website owners, I have a solution for this. So if you have a website or you are pretty much scared that something of yours might be logged, then I have a solution for that. But beside of that, make sure to check out my cybersecurity course link is in the description down below. A lot of people are loving it and a lot of people actually use it. And you have a chance of collaborating with me on bug bounty platforms. It's not actually a chance. It's a 100 percent chance. So you will collaborate with me if you buy the course. Now, let's get straight into this video. So the way that this works is essentially Google has this neat feature. For example, you want to search something of the entire website of the entire platform within Google that contains cat in the title or this here, this is the title. So you can say in title and just say cat and then hit enter. And what this will do is it will find everything that has cat in the title. As you can see, cat.com, cat, cat definition and meaning. But what you can do now is you can replace the cat word right here with admin. And once you hit enter, all of a sudden you see some interesting pages pop up, but not just admin. Let's go with admin login, though. Let's treat. Let's see if what we can do right now. So what we are right now doing is we are doing recon. And this is what reconnaissance means is just looking at the websites and seeing what happens here or there. And this is very powerful and useful in bug bounty. For example, you want to search a specific platform for this. Well, no worries. You just say site. And then here you can enter the site, for example, I don't know, whichever you feel like, for example, google.com. So say you're hacking on Google and you want to find vulnerabilities, but you want to report to Google so you can earn money from it. Well, you can just hit enter and then find every single admin login page, which is on Google. I'm assuming that Google is pretty safe. So there is no quite admin login or anything. I don't really think that the <laughs> admin admin panel will be just like that open, but just replace here with the bug bounty platform that you're looking for and it should be good to go. But this is a very, very interesting search right here that I have in front of me. What if I hit search in title index of? What this will do is, let me just show it to you. It will give me documents of a certain website so I can access them. Now, again, I'm not really going to open any of these because, again, I'm just trying to be careful right here. This is not illegal, by the way. What we're right now doing is not, but we can make this very legal is if we take all of this and use it against the website that we are right now exploring, for example. So again, you can search index off, which will give you a list of files. For example, there is a nice little website right here. For instance, there's a lot of these websites which have this index off. I don't care. Let's open one of these because again, this is not illegal unless you find something. And as you can see, we have index off, which allows you to go through files of these websites. Perfect. Again, make sure to be responsible and ethical as always, but we can also take this to a further level to see what we can find again in bug bounty. For example, you can search something like this, which is file type env. For example, you want env file type or and you want in text to see db password. And you can hit enter and then you can cite, try to find database passwords within. And as you can see, we just found one right here. And also right over here as well, we find another db password right over here. So that's what we are actually talking about. You want to find stuff about the website that you're trying to hack. And for example, you say site and then any site, for example, GitLab or I don't know, GitLab.com. So you want to see every single exposed DB password on GitLab.com. So you can go ahead, reach out to these websites and website owners and be like, yo, your GitLab token, your DB password is available in GitHub in GitLab.com. Make sure to fix this and then you can earn money from it. Now, I teach a lot about this in my cybersecurity course, which is the link in the description down below. But let's talk about a little bit of how do you even prevent this as a website owner? Now, again, even if you're a hacker, this could be actually very useful to you. Well, you should go over here to the Google Search Console. And if you have indexing on your website, you should find it right over here. And there is a nice little under the indexing tab, nice little tab called removals. And you can request a new removal to enter the URL, which you don't want on Google to be, for example, indexed. For instance, this is fixable. You just 
put out the DB password, but what about index off where you want it to be accessible, but you don't want it to be accessible to everyone on Google? Well, go over here, enter the URL, go ahead and just tell them what's going on and they will promptly remove any of these requests. Now, again, I have to tell you, make sure to be responsible and ethical. Don't use this against actual websites. I mean, if you have a website of yourself and you want to see if it is actually exploitable or if something is leaked, then you can use some of the techniques I've showed in the description. I will actually give you in the description some of the some of these uh, things that you can use to maybe find out information about your website. But to be fair to you, it is a very touchy topic and I'll, I know that Google and YouTube is very strict with cybersecurity topics, but this one is just to show you how easy it is to hack someone. Just a simple Google search because Google.com is a very, very powerful engine. And believe it or not, you can use it to exploit a variety of kinds of vulnerabilities which people i would say not really deliberately leave out so the point to take from this video is to be responsible again everything that i've shown you right now in this video is legal but you can make it illegal if you were to take it to a further step where you use information you find about websites and exploit it now it is much much better for you to learn how to do bug bounty which I have a course on, the link is in the description again, and find issues on websites that allow you to hack on and then report them to earn some money, which you can earn a lot of money. Some guy made 50000 by just finding something similar to DB database. So the point, for the, the point to take from this video is just make sure to be ethical, responsible, and stay safe. Peace.